Busy night in downtown Indianapolis, the final night of the American Ninja Warrior taping. More than 100 people have tried out for the show. Yeah, Indianapolis is one of the five cities selected for the regional rounds. Our Jason Smales has been covering the auditions all week long, and he joins us now live tonight on Monument Circle with maybe another chance to try out the course. Then you get one chance, that's <laughs> it. You're done, Jason. Jason. Good evening, John and Andrea. The competition continues and the final rounds of American Ninja Warrior. This show has a massive following and tonight only on Channel 13. I take you behind the scenes to show you why this show is so popular and why they chose Indianapolis. It's the ultimate goal for any American Ninja Warrior. Mount Midori Yama on the Las Vegas Strip and its million dollar prize. Yeah! The American Ninja Warrior finale features one of the world's most intense obstacle courses. But before they can beat the odds in Vegas, contestants must first conquer Indy. One of television's most popular shows is making its first visit to Indianapolis for the regional round. The man making it all possible, Brian Richardson. Part of the appeal of American Ninja Warrior is you, you see it on TV and you go, you know, I think I could do that. The show's executive producer is also an Indianapolis native. To come back for work and sort of combine the, my two worlds, is, it's awesome. And really share sort of the who's your hospitality with uh, all the people that I work with. For the last week, construction crews worked around the clock, turning Monument Circle into a vibrant television stage. Adam Biggs is the director of photography and lighting design. He took me behind the scenes of the unique build. It's a circle, it's about the monument and all the buildings are all around it. We've got the whole circle to light <laughs> we, and we've never had to do that before. So, I mean, for me, it's awesome. Yeah. My, my team, they don't like yeah, it so much. Yeah, little extra work, <laughs> just a little bit. Dozens of workers labor to create the course from scratch, building the obstacles, hanging the lights and filling the pools. Only then could the overnight taping begin. But on the first night of competition, Reigns brought the taping to a halt, forcing the ninjas, crew, and even the audience to wait for hours. When the show resumed, the ninjas took center stage with a bright light shining on their talents and on their life's story. If you have a story and you have the ability and you can show that, they'll want you on the show. What's your story? Uh, well, uh, I have a son who's uh, in the Army. When he joined the Army, he said he was going to become an Army Ranger. And uh, he did that. And I said, well, if you can do that, I'm going to do American Ninja Warrior. A lot of people watch this show, but they mm -hmm. never thought the show would come to Indianapolis, Indiana. Oh, yeah, I, I didn't either. I thought when somebody told me, they said, American Ninja Warrior is coming to Indy. And I said, yeah, that's good. I wish they were. And like, no, they are. They're going to film here. And I'm like, are you kidding? I hope I make the show. I've got to make the show this year. Tonight's taping will air on June 13th. John and Andrea, I had a chance to go through this course. I will tell you, after bowing out in the first round, I have a new round of respect for the American Ninja Warriors. <laughs> yeah, you had a chance to go yeah. through part of the course, let's be honest, all right? Ooh, <laughs> you did a great job, Jason. We'll talk to you later.